Hey, what's up guys? Sharp Tony here. In a follow-up to my video, which was better, the shade or the keeper, I actually got a question, which was better, a doctor or an adventurer, from a subscriber actually, so shout out to our subscriber friend. Let me get this out of the way just for now, I'm so sorry. But, let's let's get down to it. You got two different play styles. We'll start first with the adventurer. Adventurers are proficient with both ranged, and they get melee too. They have heals... They have the second best heals in the game, and they're the only profession, other than the doctor, to get a complete heal, called Invocation of the Phoenix, which heals for 10,001 damage exactly. Except the <laughs> the cast time is 13 seconds, unlike the doctor complete heal, so it's a bit slower. And the aggro pull is pretty darn similar. The other thing about adventurers is they are great shapeshifters are the only profession in the game that changed their shape like such we got the freaking thing we got the pit lizard what else we got we got the pit lizard we got the wolf we got least you could change it to quite a few things depending on the scenario you could change into things this right here 200 concealment boom right there it's really versatile in terms of what um morph you want because it'll either give you damage evades Add all off, concealment, or if you want to turn to the bird, then you can't fly, and this is the bird. Oops. Uh, I can't turn to the bird here? Freaking, what's the problem here? The bird has play shift requirements, which I might not meet. Is that the problem? Oh, right. It's, the bird works as a run speed buff, and a swim buff. You need swim? Boom, 190 swimming. Hop off this freaking wiener, son. Diving a little deeper about the adventurer. Their perk support is set up mostly for evades. They get access to Dance of Fools or the Limber, I mean, I'm sorry, the Acrobat line of perks, and they're the only profession that also gets bio shielding. They're the, what I mean by that is they're the only profession that gets Acrobat and bio shielding. So on top of heals, you have crazy evades and you have absorbs. <laughs> if you're learning the game or do you want a profession that's going to be really hard to kill adventurer is great the only thing about adventurer is you're not really going to top the dd charts with this profession nor the doctor obviously i don't even think that had to be said but they're definitely a lot of fun and they they're also the only other profession other than a shade that if they use one hand edge they get access to backstab the adventurer is always called funcom's love child i think that one's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory as to how it got that nickname and they also get cool heels for when they are in other forms and they get buffs while they're in that too so if you want pretty solid damage and heals and evades and absorbs all at the same time adventures for you in pvp the adventure is probably the most annoying thing you'll ever face in the world unless you're like a nanotechnician or something or i don't know how it fares against cred i haven't really tried that out too much but adventurers are definitely great in pvp they just tend to be a little pricey but if you want Arguably the best PvP PvP cups category the penis PvP class in the game. Bang bang! You want to freaking hit up this mother father, fork everybody up. So now that you've learned about the uh, bang bang star that we call. Wow, that sounds weird. Bang bang star. Should I restart? Just gonna keep going. Now that we've learned about the adventurer, we're gonna learn about the doctor. The doctor is the game's main healer and gets a complete heal, as we could see here. Which, see, it only has a 5.5 second attack and an 8 second recharge, whereas Invocation of the Phoenix from an Adventurer had 13 seconds on both. Which is, you know, which is what happened. Doctors also get team heals, they get HP buffs, they get team HP buffs, as you can see here. They get nano resist buffs, they get nano initiative buffs, they could buff your strength and stamina a little bit. So what we're going here with is docs are pretty much buffs, buff, buffers, buffers, buff, gosh, the words are not coming out today, <sighs> okay, moving on, doctors also, in terms of combat, they get, they're one of the few classes in the game that actually gets initiative debuffs, and if we take a look here, uncontrollable body tremors, which for a froob is going to be your highest initiative debuff, you're debuffing 1,452 initiatives from every single initiative, which is just massive. Doctors also get three lines of hots, I mean of dots, damage over times. Only two if you're froob, three if you're paid. They're A, B, and C. If you take a look here at the nano line, it'll say dot strain A, dot strain B. I don't know where my C is. 
I don't think I have my C uploaded, but yes, they get three. And they also do get a few nukes for PVM, but mostly the Doctor is going to be a healer. In terms of damage, Doctors are mostly going to want to go pistol, although for PvP you'll see some with bow, you'll see some with a one hand edge kind of setup which works in pvp and does not work in pvm because our perk support is mostly for ranged energy and pistol ranged energy is not a bad way to level a doctor up and you can take that one from me promise to you trust me what did i just say moving on trust me that ranged energy is good i actually if you've seen my level 25 doctor he's a ranged energy pvm doctor that solos with no problem but mostly you're going to want to go pistol. Most doctors these days also go nano mage because that makes the heals easier. In terms of soloing, the doctor is not a good soloer until he gets his really high high end game freaking dots because it's end nano initiative debuffs because there's just not much weapon support unless you go ranged energy, you get the soul medical lasers and you freaking kick some butt. But 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 there is a catch. Once Doctors get to 220, they could solo pretty much anything in the game. Why? Because they get the complete heals. They're slowing everything down to a, a great degree. And they can get massive HP, which is why being a Nano Mage doesn't hurt. See, we have this Life Channeler buff here we could cast for some HP. And then we have a Superior Omnimed Enhancement, which will add a lot more to our HP as well. So Doctors in PvM do very, very well. Every good team needs a good doctor. If you want to feel like you're in demand for something, make a doctor, because everybody needs a doctor. If you're not getting healed, you're not living. So, I would suggest that if you are experienced with healing, you might want to make a doctor. Or if you're experienced with a game, you might not necessarily be experienced with healing. But if you are experienced with the game, doctor's a way to go. Not a good starter profession, though. Not a good starter profession. And again, you're not even going to touch the damage charts on this guy. If you're in a raid, mostly what you're going to be doing is using complete heal on whoever the main tank is, and that'll be a day. And healing the people that get hurt in your team, and that's pretty much going to be everything. But in PvP, they are great, and they don't have to be too expensive either. A lot of this stuff, you want to go for an HP setup, so you can loot a lot of the stuff you need. They'll start to get good in PvP around level 76, and then move on up from there with having pretty much dominance at 220. They might be able to kill adventurers, you would be surprised. But so final verdict. If you want to be able to solo from the get-go and you want to be able to kill from day 1 and then PVP and wreck everybody's face and just support and push nice damage too, go with the adventurer. You will have a great time. If somebody calls you a scrub nub, that's their fault. Bang bang, son. If you want to fork up some other followers in a very slow manner but be able to solo things like Lord of the Void and Mitar, I would say go with the Doctor. Again, two different two different playing styles. But don't forget, every team needs a Doctor. If you want to feel important, you make that Doctor and you will be in teams. So hey guys, thanks for watching. Any questions, ask them down below. Let's fork up some other fathers. Peace up in this B word.